Just taking that first step to talk to a patient is the most critical step on the journey and that's what we want to encourage everybody to do to create this more positive culture around patient engagement. That patient lived experience cannot be learned from a textbook so we really need to value that and we want to encourage more diverse voices to come forward. It's very useful to use the guidance as a prompt to help you consider all aspects of the work you're either planning to do or that you've actually just done um, to help you critique and learn lessons from what, you do, what you've been doing. Um, it helps you consider all the different aspects, who your stakeholders are and how you will get them actively partnering with you. I use the quality guidance in a retrospective manner to be able to look at our practice and to help me take that time to step back and reflect um, identify where we could still improve. It's helped me identify where we need to capture things differently going forward. It was really useful to have that 12 months look back uh, against each of the criteria to really look at our communications, looking at our working together and how we respect the people that we work with. One of our public contributors also used the quality guidance because it was very important that it's not just our internal perspective, it's, it's what our uh, public stakeholders feel. But she found it very useful the way it was set out and the structure of it and the tool itself. Yeah.